Dear friends, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further saying, I saw the spirit come down like a dove from heaven and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, on whomever you see the spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the son of God. The gospel of the Lord. You. Have you noticed the uniform? change colors. We are now in the season of ordinary time, and this season will be lasting until March the 1st, when we celebrate Ash Wednesday and the very beginning of the Lenten season. And so we are back in ordinary time. It feels good that these past weeks, as enjoyable as they were, with Thanksgiving, Advent, Christmas, and New Year, are now past and we're entering a time that is quieter, more settled, or just plain ordinary. We can sit back and relax after all the hustle and bustle that we've experienced. However, when we hear today's readings, we might become a little anxious. These readings aren't what we might call festive, but they aren't ordinary, and sometimes they can be unsettling. They're all about an invitation, or better still, a call, a call that we must take seriously. In our first reading, Isaiah tells us how he was called by God. God already formed Isaiah as a servant while he was still in his mother's womb. But then God says that being God's servant is too little what he was called to be. He is going to bring back the tribes of Jacob and will be a light to all nations. That is no small task. This is big time stuff. And then the second reading, Paul speaks up. He was called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God. And that call brings Paul to the people of Corinth who are also called to be holy. To be holy. What does that mean? We'll get to it in a few moments. And John the Baptist can help us. He too was called, and he went around preaching conversion and baptizing with water at the Jordan River. He had done this so many times, but this time it was different. He had been told that what he was doing in preaching and baptizing was to pre prepare the way for someone else more important than he. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And then John the Baptist gave witness to Jesus as the son of God. Isaiah was called to, and sent to bring light to the nations. Paul, the persecutor of Christians, was called and then sent especially to the Gentiles. John the Baptist was called and sent to prepare the way for the Lord. And when Jesus came to free, to cure, and to save. In Jesus' coming, he brought so much more maybe more than we will ever fully realize in this life. Isaiah, Paul, and John were all called and sent. Jesus is called, and he calls all of us to holiness. That holiness is a catch, of course. The catch is that Jesus also sends us. Stop and think about how God has blessed you in your life of how God has acted in your life. 
Often with the Thanksgiving holiday, we may take a quick look back and recognizing the ways in which God has acted in our lives and we are grateful. But do we look back each and every day? God is there each day and is blessing us each day even if we don't recognize it. Even John the Baptist, so busy preaching and baptizing, admits that he did not know Jesus until the Spirit came above in the form of a dove. Paul called the people of Corinth to be holy, and Jesus calls us to be holy. So what is this holiness? In a couple of weeks, we'll hear the gospel reading of the Beatitudes. Practicing the Beatitudes may bring holiness. Doing our work honestly and well leads to holiness. Seeing and treating others well, regardless of race, religion, or gender, may also bring holiness. Struggling to do what is right, in spite of the fact that we are tempted to do just the opposite. When you stop and think, you can come up with many actions that indicate holiness. A good place to begin, though, is every night. Just spend a few moments before you fall asleep thinking of how God has been active in your life this day. And then, thank God for all the blessings. Friends, we are called by God. In our baptism, we are consecrated to God. But God doesn't leave us there. God wants to send all of us like God sent, was sent. We are sent to make known to all the nations. But you know what? This doesn't mean that we have to leave home and go to foreign lands and become officially missionaries. It means living our life as best we can, realizing with gratitude that God is with us, loving us, and sending us to share that love with others. They were all called, Isaiah, John the Baptist, Paul, and then you can insert your name in the cleanup spot. We too are called. God bless you all. Thank you for being here this afternoon.